In Psalm 118, verses 8 and 9, the psalmist writes, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. People often have a tendency to put their trust in man. They trust that their civil leaders will always protect them. They trust their preacher will always teach them the truth and trust that their elders will always give them wise counsel. While it is possible for these things to often happen, we cannot assume that they will always happen. Furthermore, any good that is provided by those in whom we trust is never perfect. This is why the psalmist wrote, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Immediately after that, the psalmist repeated the phrase with one change. He emphasized the fact that trusting in God is better than trusting in princes. Because civil leaders may maintain security, provide for the people, rule in a way that pleases the people, or be the only government the people have ever known, many place their trust in these rulers. Yet the psalmist said that it's better to trust in God. But why? Well, I want you to consider another passage that discusses the idea of trusting in princes. In Psalm 146, verses 3 and 4, it says, Do not trust in princes, in mortal men, in whom there is no salvation. His spirit departs. He returns to the earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. The reason why we are not to trust in princes is because there is no salvation in them. They are mortals who will one day be gone. Therefore, if we trust in them, the source of our hope is temporary. It is uncertain. But in contrast, the psalmist gave three reasons why it's better to trust in the Lord. First, we see because God is our creator. In Psalm 146, verses 5 through 6, the psalmist wrote, How blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Friends, the creation shows us that God is not limited in his power as human rulers are. Secondly, we see that God cares for us, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord protects the strangers. He supports the fatherless and the widow, but he thwarts the way of the wicked. Psalm 146, verses 7 through 9. While others may care or claim to care for us, they cannot do what God is able to do in providing help and support for those who really need it. But also, we find point number three, God will reign forever. In Psalm 146 and verse 10, it says, The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Friends, unlike human rulers who are mere mortals, the Lord is eternal. And with this in mind, consider a passage just a few verses after the one where we started in Psalm 118 and verse 22. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This passage is a prophecy of Christ. Peter wrote in 1 Peter 2 verses 6 through 8, For this is contained in Scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a choice stone, a precious cornerstone, and he who believes in him will not be disappointed. This precious value, then, is for you who believe, but for those who disbelieve, the stone which the builders rejected, this became the very cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense. For they stumble because they are disobedient to the word, and to this doom they were also appointed. Friends, Jesus is this cornerstone. Because of this, he must be the foundation of our faith and hope, and we must completely place our trust in him. But on the other hand, if our faith, hope, and trust is in man, we will be lost. Peter said, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. Acts 4 and verse 12. Let us be sure that we are building our lives upon the solid foundation of God's word with Jesus as the cornerstone. If we place our trust in man instead of God, we're building our lives upon a foundation that will not endure. And let us always remember that it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Friends, we thank you for joining us today and have a blessed day.